Yo, what's up? So um, today we are going to be talking about a pretty common thing in the self-improvement sphere of the world, but something I feel like we haven't covered enough on this channel so far, and that is uh, meditation. So I used to do this quite a lot in my life, but I've only just really started putting it back in as a habit in my life recently. And it's been pretty fucking cool. So it's been like the past uh, the past few days now, the past week or so, I've started meditating again. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's something definitely that people should try. And I'm going to just talk about a few things that like um, I didn't really realize about meditation that I've started doing recently and that's helped out quite a lot. And the first one of those things is basically guided meditation. So back in the day, I always used to think that meditation was just a thing where I'd sit down by myself at God knows what, 11 p.m. at night when everyone else had gone to sleep in my house and I'd just sit there alone and kind of just be still with my thoughts. But what would happen there is I'd get confused and I wouldn't know what I was doing and basically, I don't know, I, my, my mind would stray a lot. And then recently I started using guided meditation and, and it's really helped out a lot. And I feel like that's one thing, one piece of advice I'd give is that if you're struggling with forming a meditation habit, try guided meditation because it isn't cheating. It is its own kind of form of meditation and it's something that really does work quite well. There's a few benefits to it, I'd say. Is firstly, is that it kind of keeps you focused on the meditation. Because I feel like when I'd be meditating before without any sort of form of guidance, I'd sort of sit there for half the time thinking, well, how long do I have left on this timer? Like, uh, what am I doing? Like, do you know what I mean? But th this kind of guided meditation, it kind of gives you that knowledge in the back of your mind that you know when this is going to end. You know that you've got to keep going because it will end soon. Not that like, you, you want it to end, but you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you don't have this kind of guide, then you spend a lot of the time worrying about when this thing is going to finish. And then the other thing that it does is it kind of, it, it's quite explanatory to people that need it. So, so the thing is, is I, I know how to meditate. You know, it sounds like a little brag, but like, I mean, like I've done it before. So like, I don't really need that aspect of it, but for people who haven't meditated before, it's quite useful just to have someone there telling them exactly what they should be doing. And, yeah, I mean, I, I tried different apps like Calm and like, um, what's the other one? Headspace. Headspace is a big app and it's, it's on all these like sponsorships and stuff. But anyway, recently, and it was someone put it in the Discord chat that we're in and I tried it recently. It's called Medito, M-E-D-I-T-O. It's on the App Store, Apple and probably, sorry, probably Apple and definitely on um, the Play Store. But anyway, what it is, is like, it's a guided meditation, but it's free and it has these courses. And the first one is like, it's called Learning to Sit. And it starts you off with like a three minute meditation and you just go through that. And to be honest with you, I cheated a bit. I've done them all in one day. Well, two. But like, um, it's quite a good start. It's a good place to start. So I definitely recommend that is if you've never meditated before or if you want to get into meditation or if you do meditate even, is download the Medito app and try that first course to try learning how to sit. And then from there, move on to different things. <laughs> but anyway, so I just wanted to talk about like what meditation has done for me and why I quite value it as a habit. And basically, I think the main thing it's done is really quieten down my mind. And that's one of those things is like, um, it kind of is quite nice that it teaches you how to sit just generally. Because I think that we have like quite a problem in this society of just being able to sit down with nothing to do and just be able to sit there. And I see this, like you see these memes on Instagram here. Yeah? And the thing I think is not that's funny. I just think, fuck me, that's kind of crazy. But these memes where it's like um, uh, a picture of like a mountain or some shit. And it's like, uh, could you sit here for one hour with nothing? And you're just sort of there like, <laughs> fucking hell, man. Is that a problem that we have now in society that we can't sit for an hour without our phones? And I was reading the comments and it kind of, it did get me thinking. It was like, well, this is kind of crazy, you know, like attention spans are so destroyed by TikToks and by YouTubes and by Instagrams and just all this shit that like meditation, that is one of the main things it brings is that kind of focus and that attention, not necessarily even when you're doing something, but just the attention span to be able to do nothing, if that makes any sense. You can kind of sit there without having to constantly have a dopamine drip putting information and stuff into your brain. And that's one of the, that's probably my favorite part of meditation is that, that it gives you. The kind of ability to be able to do nothing and not feel awkward. And that is such a useful thing in so many situations that you never really realize, but like on a train when you're sat down, when you feel bored, this is just something that pervades so much of your life because it is so useful. And there are so many situations in which it is valuable. 
I don't know. It's just one of those weird things. Like if you, if, I, if I go on a plane and I just see people with like headphones in and people kind of ask like, do you not have headphones? Like, what are you gonna do? Like, and I'm just there like, well, it's only a couple of hours of me life. Like, it's not that hard to sit there without some fucking headphones in. But anyway, it's just stuff like that is is very useful in that sense. Also, I feel like it also helps you control your emotion a lot. So that kind of ability to not have this constant stream of thoughts going on in your head as much, or at least it's a lot quieter. It's kind of it's, it's a weird way to understand it, but like. I feel like what meditation does is it really quiets down that inner voice inside of your head it, to the point where you, you only really hear it if you focus on hearing it rather than it always being the like the narrative in your mind. But anyway, so what that does is it means that you can really much more easily control your emotion because you have to kind of consciously listen to what the voice is saying rather than the kind of invasive, that's the word, yeah, it, it kind of stops the invasive thoughts from coming through and you might notice I'm a bit calmer right now in this video that is just because I've just literally finished meditating so maybe the delivery is a bit poor on this but yeah so that, that's another thing that it kind of brings is that kind of sense of um, calmness throughout your day and the lack of intrusive thoughts and then the third thing I would say and it just kind of like it's one of those things that it's a cornerstone habit so it's like the gym for example it's one of those things that if you can set aside a certain amount of time at the beginning of each day to do, you will notice the, what are they called? Like the, the ripples of that kind of habit throughout your day. So it's one of those things that beginning to meditate and the practice of mindfulness makes you kind of more focused and more um, kind of introspective throughout the day. And I think th this is another one of the massive benefits of mindfulness and of meditation is that it helps so much more with the rest of your life because it makes you much more mindful about the decisions that you make. So it makes it easier to go to the gym. It makes it easier to stay on NoFap or on a diet because when you make these decisions that are normally so impulsive, instead you can stop and think about the fact that they are just thoughts and that they're not, they don't have to control you. And I mean, I think that's another one of the massive benefits of meditation is that it kind of like reduces impulsivity and it reduces... Yeah, those things. And it basically, it, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the pervasion, the pervasion, it pervades a lot. I don't know why I'm using that word a lot today, but yeah. It kind of, yeah, it just sorts out the rest of your habits in your life. I, I don't really know what else I'm going to say in this video, but I mean, that's basically it. It's meditate, use the Medito app, go through that first learning how to sit course, go through the rest of them after that, because the benefits are massive. It really is one of those things that you have to work out you have to work out your mind because we don't do that. And it's like one of the only habits that, it's like it's one of the only things that pr rebuilds your prefrontal cortex or some shit. Like it's literally growing your brain. Like this is one of those things that is extremely important. If you're not working out your mind, you need to start working out your mind. And also you need to treat it like a workout because that's the other thing is I see a lot of people when I'm talking about meditation, they'll come to me and they'll say, well, I can't do that because if I sit for 30 seconds, all that happens is my mind just gets flooded with thoughts. Well, yeah, obviously, like, <laughs> you've never meditated before. It's just, it's one of those things you have to think about like that. It's like me going to the gym and expecting to rep 80 kg on bench press the first second I get in there. It happening, man. And that's the same thing with meditation, is for the first few times it is going to be a struggle. And that is where guided meditation helps, actually, another way. But it will be a struggle, and you do have to work through it, and you have to keep increasing your time until you can properly meditate and start feeling the benefits. It is like the gym, but for your brain. So treat it the same way. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, join the Discord, link in the description. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.